Well, ah, good afternoon and uh, welcome to a, uh, a, a slightly different video uh, about, uh, we're going to do a beer review. And, and um, it, I think it was General de Gaulle Paul that said, Belgium was a c country created by the British to annoy the French. However, they also make some very, very nice beer, which is this one. And uh, my friend here is going to uh, pour us some now. During this uh, beer review, I will be enjoying some scruff snus. We're just uh, pouring, pouring the uh, the beer, the beer now into these glasses. Now, first of all, I must apologise. Um, we have not got the correct glasses for putting the beer in for this kind of uh, this kind of uh, beer. You really need a. Um, uh, a chalice shaped shaped glass like uh, they use in on uh, France, Belgium, um, other countries. Unfortunately we, we have not got uh, a chalice shaped glass even though we have the beer so we're just using uh, not completely authentic but glasses nevertheless to put the beer in. Um, this as you can see is um, a Belgian Abbey beer called um, Lef or, or Leffa, people seem to pronounce it either way. Um, it's called an Abbey beer because it's in the traditions of, uh, of, of Belgian beers um, brewed, uh, brewed in uh, monasteries, in religious uh, communities. And this was uh, originally brewed, if I may just have a sip, By the order by the um, Abbey of Notre Dame de Lef from um, southern Belgium, which was founded in 1152. Um, unfortunately, they do not actually brew the beer there now because, uh, unfortunately, um, it's been taken over by uh, Interbrew, um, a big multinational Ooh. brewers, Ooh. Um, have now uh, become InBev, and it's brewed at the um, Stella Stella Brewery in. Um, Leuven instead. I'm not a great fan of uh, of Stella myself. I find it rather, uh, rather, rather, rather bland and tasteless. But that's another another matter. Um, this, uh, though it's light coloured, it isn't a lager. It's a um, it's a golden ale. Um, the brewing uh, process is is different. Um, it's best to serve it um, uh, cool but not completely um, chilled because you want to uh, be able to appreciate the um, different the different flavours. Um, I think we've both actually noticed there's a bit of almost a hint of a banana -y, A hint of banana. banana -y, uh, flavour in there. Um, it's quite quite sweet, uh, slightly spicy uh, taste as well. It's um, a reason. It's got a reasonable kick to it. I believe it's. Uh, I think we we're talking six point uh, six percent. Uh, six point six percent. Um, they also um, left also um, brew uh, a, a darker uh, beer, the brew, and they also um, brew a bottle conditioned beer as well, the triple, which at eight point five percent is a, a, a mighty strong beer. But we haven't got any of that, so uh, me and my good friend here. A sampling instead of some of the uh, Lef or Leffer. We're uh, enjoying it very much. We're big fans of the British Real Ales, but sometimes it's nice just to show we're not insular looking to branch out and see uh, what the rest of the uh, the rest of the world's uh, brewing, brewing and drinking yeah. and everything. So we're, uh, we're going to enjoy uh, a few more glasses of this nonetheless and sit here in the wonderful uh, English uh, summer rain. <laughs> And uh, we'll we'll have some of that. So what more can I say except uh, cheers? Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy your beer.